In this video, former Sri Lankan first class cricketer Eranga Mendes shows you the off spin bowling grip along with the different variations you can bowl. Let's go. Right, going to start with the off spin. Uh, we'll start with uh, three one grip. So the three fingers down, fall it into the palm and index and thumb stays up. You slot the ball just like this, just trying to get a bit more up over the ball. The idea is when you're looking to spin off spin, uh, so you're looking to spin the upper the back of the hand and top of the index finger, that's your over spinner. So hopefully the ball will land on the outside of the off thumb and hitting the stumps. Well, the next step is three finger grip. So we're gonna have uh, index, middle, and ring finger on the, on the seam, the thumb on and off, um, and then your pinky fall into the palm. Uh, this is uh, another ball that you can actually change the pace of the ball, uh, because it sits a bit more, a little bit longer in your fingers, and it might be able to get the batsman out on the dish in the air. Right, the next step is the arm ball. The arm ball is a surprising the batsman. So basically when you bowl your stocks ball and then bowl the arm ball, and hopefully we can get the LBWs or caught behind. There are many ways you can bowl arm balls. Um, they start with what we call a floater. The floater the one that shapes away from the right-handed batsman if it gets it right. So let's have a look at the grip. So when you actually grip, when you look at the grip, you can see your index finger goes slightly across the seam and your thumb right underneath the seam, just like that. And the rest of the fingers will fall into the palm. The idea is when he releases the ball, the ball travels just like that. The seam pointed to the first slip or the second slip, just like an arch swing ball. So as I mentioned, there are a few arm balls that you can use and the one in the mouth floaters. The next one I'm gonna show you is the, the arm ball that we use, what we call a bit more bowling around your wrist. So the ball will travel like a flying sauce, like that. The idea is to land the ball on the leather that the ball skids on. So to be able to do that, you need to get your wrist coming around, not over the top, but coming around. The next one we we'll talk about in the back spinner, a quite underrated delivery. You can get a few dismissal on this ball. The idea of the back spinner is just about it fists the ball at the side of the hands. The ball goes backwards and creates a bit more skits on the surface to get LBW. Hopefully sometimes it moves away from the batsman. So let's have a look at the grip. Same grip like off spin. So mine is a bit more um, two fingers on the top and the two fingers fall into the you know the palm. The idea is when you're bowling your off spin, you're trying to get up over the ball, just like that. But in this delivery, you're trying to get underneath. So it goes out the side of the hands, so you're almost like a fist out of the, you know, the side of the hand. But when you release the ball, the ball should be released a bit more upright positions. Like current balls, I go one of the best balls in modern day uh, white ball cricket. Um, how we're gonna use, I uh, use the three fingers on the fold in the palm, index and you know the uh the thumb you use your middle finger to propel the fit just like that so hopefully the ball will deviate off the wicket it depends on the wicket you bowl at some wickets in subcontinental quite useful but here in england i uh, might not be able to do much as uh, particularly we're looking to bowl in this uh, green seamer top spin arguably one of the best ball to bowl especially the wickets that suits to get a bit more bounce and get the top edges so how we're going to ball, same grips. The idea is to try and get a little bit up over the ball. The whole play, the same run down the wicket and deter it off the you know, surface and get a bit more stiff bounce. The next ball is going to be a side spin or some calls squash, you know, spin or barrel spin. So the grip will be the same and the mine is three, three down and, and one up and slot the ball over there. The difference with the overspin and the side spin, overspin is looking to go a bit up over the ball the side spin you go a bit more around the ball a bit more up the front of the hand be sure to check out aranga's coaching website link in the description below also 
tap or click the end screen to watch the full off-spin bowling masterclass I filmed with Aranka. And I cannot wait to see you over there. Thank you.